يسألونك عن الأنفال قل الأنفال لله ورسول فاتقوا الله وأصلحوا ذات بينكم وأطيعوا الله ورسوله إن كنتم مؤمنين إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وجلت قلوبهم وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آياته زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون. Good morning, Good morning, Miss. I'm just reading some Quran till the rest of your colleagues coming, okay? الذين يقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون أولئك هم المؤمنون حقا لهم درجات عند ربهم ومغفرة ورزق كما أخرجك ربك من بيتك بالحق وإن فريقا من المؤمنين لكارهون يجادلونك في الحق بعد ما تبينك أنما يساقون إلى الموت وهم ينظرون وإذ يعدكم الله إحدى الطائر فتين أنها لكم وتودون غير أن غير ذات الشوكة تكون لكم ويريد الله أن يحق الحق بكلماته ويقطع دابر الكافرين ليحق الحق ليحق الحق ويبطل الباطل ولو كره المجرمون إذ تستغيثون ربكم فاستجاب لكم أني ممدكم بألف من الملائكة مردفين وما جعله الله إلا بشرى ولتطمئن به قلوبكم وما النصر إلا من عند الله إن الله عزيز حكيم إذ يغشيكم النعاس أمنة منه وينزل عليكم من السماء ماء ليطهركم به ويذهب عنكم رجز الشيطان وليضبط على قلوبكم وليربط على قلوبكم ويثبت به الأقدام <تصفيق> إذ يوحي ربك إلى الملائكة أني معكم فثبتوا الذين آمنوا سألقي في قلوب الذين كفروا الرعب فاضربوا فوق الأعناق فاضربوا فوق الأعناق واضربوا منهم كل بنام. Good morning, عبد الله. Good morning. How are you, عبد الله? So, Mazen Asan today. Mazen, Mazen. Yes, Mazen Asan. عبد الله البريا. عبد الله محمد البريا. Yeah. Well, have your students, 
Mazen, I didn't see any of your friends. It's, it's now it's nine o'clock. What happened? No, I don't know. Okay, till they are coming, I want to just to know where we stopped last time in the worksheets. We finished with the worksheet or not yet? We stopped in the question number 20. We finished with number 20, yeah? And yes. So we had only only one question is left, yeah? Mm. Oh, great. So only one question is left. No problem. Good morning, Tanim. Welcome back, Tanim. Tanim and Mahidan. Good morning. How are you doing, son? Tanim, Jamal, and Mahidan. Yeah, good morning. Um, this is great to hear from you. My son, I hope everything is going to be right. It is 9.01 now, and um, I think I should start my session, but only three students. What about the others? Dragon <coughs> Master. Good morning. Good morning. I'm waiting for the others. Shari. Good morning, Shari. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, son. How are you doing? Fine. Great. Uh, by the way, dear students, I have uh, a new lesson for you exactly, something exactly related because this is the last point in invertebrates, what we plan to study this year. Uh, then we're moving to the vertebrates, okay? Then we're going on to discuss exactly the fish. We'll start with fish. Are you ready for that, inshallah? Yes, inshallah. Great. First of all, not exactly, I have to finish with question 21, what we left from the last worksheet. Then we are moving directly to that. Um, I think it's going to be 9.05, and then, then the rest of you didn't come yet. I don't know what to do. What should I do? What do you think, guys? Should I start? We are ready, Mr. Huh? Whatever you want. We are ready. It's not about me, it's about you and your colleagues. Uh, we will talk to them now, one minute. Should I send to them a message now? Okay, I will send to them, Mr. No. Okay. Okay, now they are coming. Okay, that's great. Abdullah Al Anazi. Abdullah Ahmed. Good morning, Abdullah. Abdullah Ahmed Al Anazi, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Why are you are so late like this? Five minutes late. Me? Yeah. It's nine oh five now. I'm sorry, Mister. 
I said, okay, but I'm just saying you that we, you, know, we have, you know we are limited on time, so we have to be in, in exact time. No, but I wake up late. Um, this meaning that you slept late. No, no. <laughs> hey, it's okay, man. Okay, let's come to our lesson. Uh, question 21. Is something really looking beautiful because it's one of you. Discussing one of you. While searching through Thai balls, your friend Muhammad Arif Tamimi finds an organism crawling along the rocky bottom. He wants to know if it is an echinoderm or not. What characteristics would you and you, your friend observe if the organism is an echinoderm? Who is ready? Raise your hand. Who is ready to answer this question? Please raise your hand. No one of you? Okay, we'll share that. We will share the, the, the answer. Just I want to see that you got up. You are not sleeping. Any one of you? Shari, do you have any idea? Shari Fahad. Shari. Oh, so Shari, he left the phone. They left, he left the phone and went somewhere. Mazen, do you have any idea? No. Not really? Because you're still sleeping. Mm. Abdullah Buraya, do you have an idea? Mm. No. Okay. Welcome back, Abdullah Garmi. Abdullah Salih Garmi. Okay. Mm. Do you have any idea? Uh, no, Mr. I don't have any idea. Brian and Nasser? Me too, Mr. You too. Okay. No problem. Okay, let's write this answer with me, please. The adult organism will have radial symmetry. This is first. Am I right or not? Hello? Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So this is a mistake. Okay. Then Tube feet, tube feet that have a what? Huh? Vascular system. Vascular system. And an Indo. Skeleton bearing spines. That's it. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam, Saud al Harbi. Good morning, Saud. Good morning, Mr. Hawari, Mr. I'm good. And you? I'm good also. Okay. Saud, 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 Saud. سعود سعود الرشيد أو سعود ال 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 سعود خالد السلام عليكم السلام عليكم عليكم السلام السلام عليكم عليكم السلام good morning good morning okay سعود الحرب good morning good morning أحمد good morning السلام عليكم من عبد الله good morning all of you good morning that's great I'm fine الحمد لله and you all is okay I'm أحمد أنا I want you please now to write this um, answer of the last question. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. I want you all please write this answer.
محمد رفاع هي سين مئة ماشي that he can not join us why Did you finish? Yes. Great. All of you? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So now <clears throat> we finish with this worksheet completely. Yes? Um, now we have to go to <clears throat> the new lesson of today. The new lesson of today. Bismillah. Is discussing with you all the vertebrates because we finished already with the invertebrates. <coughs> we are moving to the vertebrates now. Exactly, we are starting with fish, then a kind, some kinds of amphibians, then moving to, for example, to uh, the mammals and the types of mammals. And this will be exactly in grade 11, like your friends, what they studied this year with me. So, uh, for you, I'm going on to discuss with you exactly the fish. So slowly and step by step, what are the features of vertebrates that make them different from invertebrates? There are something about vertebrates. It is, uh, you know, it is um, like the turn location of uh, this kind of animal. They are, they are completely different than <clears throat> the invertebrates. We will check about it. What are the characteristics that most fish have in common? Yes. Um, how are the characteristics of fish adapted to aquatic life? <clears throat> so we will study three things. What is the difference between vertebrates? Sorry. What vertebrates? and invertebrates then <clears throat> the characteristics that most fish have mean the fish characteristics characteristic that most fish have okay this is very important also then how are these characteristics of fish adapted to aquatic life. Uh -huh. So the adaptation of these fish that allow them to live in aquatic life, mean the marine life normally. There are three points of very important. And we are taking it easy. We are not in a hurry. We may finish with the first one question today, or maybe we can move to the second question. It depends on you. So first of all, we, we have <clears throat> a few words. I think from last session, from last week, you know what does mean not to call exactly now. Is it clear for you all? Then the new words, what you have today, are cartilage. Cartilage. Who can tell me what does mean cartilage? Hamoud, can you tell me what does mean cartilage? Hamoud. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what the same cartilage? Uh, I want simple, simple definition. Simple, very simple. What What did you know about it? Which one? The first uh, cartilage. Cartilage. I don't know. <clears throat> you don't know. Okay, Mshari, do you know anything about this word, cartilage? <laughs> Daddy, about what? Cartilage. Do you know anything about cartilage? No. No. Is there anybody here know what does mean cartilage? Yes. Imagine, what do you? What does mean cartilage? 
In Arabic, it's called Al Ghadroof. No, I'm speaking English. Yes, it's a uh, part from the. Mister, it's a, it's it's a, a flexible uh, fibrous tissue and takes uh, many forms okay. and serves. Uh, you are giving me the scientific meaning. I Not the body from the, the, from the, the leg. I know the leg and Yeah, you are so amazing. Hey, but, but, it is right. It is correct. What you uh, so you uh, want to say that cartilage is a kind of bone, but it is the smooth bone. It is a smooth bone that can be moving, can be uh, uh, flexible of moving. It's not rough and tough like the bones, what we have. And according to this, we are dividing fish into two main groups or classes. Cartilaginous fish and bony fish. You got the idea now? That's great. What does mean neural crest? Crest, even I write in the, in the bracket, crest means the top of the nerve. And I reminded you something from, from physics, trough and crest. Do you know what does mean trough and crest? Who can tell me what does mean trough and crest? Is there nobody here ready to tell me what does mean Trafan Crest? Salman Fahad. Salman. Salman Fahad. Salman. Salman is not here. Okay. Look here, dear students. I think you remember this very well. Look here what I'm drawing now. I think you studied this with Mr. Hussein or Mr. Ahmed, all the teachers. Okay. Sorry. I'll try to make it more clear. Yeah, this one first, then here. I think you remember this well, yes or not? What we said about this, this one, what is it? And this one, what is it? This is called crest, and this is called trough. Qimma waqa'a, of the wave in physics, you study it already. Got the idea now? Yes. I hope so. So when I'm telling you neural crest means the top part of the nerve and this is wouldn't appear in the nidarians if you remember that and echinoderms you understand but here it started appearing in the and the uh, vertebrates great fin i think you know what does mean fins fins means the flippers that allow and, and facilitate the movement of fish in the water okay scale I think you know what that means, scale. Oberculum, atrium, ventricle. This is exactly, you will come deep in these details about the heart, inshallah, step by step. Uh, nephron, oh my God, nephron. What does mean nephron? Also, we will discuss it more deep in details next year. Lateral line system, lateral line system. What does mean lateral line system? Spawning. Spawning, spawning means produce eggs. Okay. Swim bladder. Ah, there is a bladder responsible for the swim in the fish. Yup. When you are eating the fish, you when you are eating it and you are starting eating, you feel that there is a, a, a bag of air inside it uh, close to the close to the backbone. This one is called the swim bladder. We will discuss it step by step, inshallah. Let's come now to the characteristics of vertebrates in general. The first question what we discussed. First question was, remember that, what are the features of vertebrates that makes them different from invertebrates? Let's come to know it. 
Uh -huh. Animals belonging to subphylum vertebrata or vertebrate. What does mean vertebrates? Vertebrates means the animals that have a backbone. Have a vertebral column and specialized cell that develop from nerve cord. Nerve cord? Nerve cord? Al-habl al-shawki, what you have in your backbone. Classes of vertebrates include fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Don't forgive this, please, because we need it. We need it seriously. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. I may ask you, filling gaps. The classes of vertebrates are dot, 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 and dot. So you have to know that it is fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals okay great okay uh, mr yes may i go for five minutes uh Saoud, take your time but what we miss of the session it is your responsibility okay 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 vertebral column the note cord is replaced Abdullah Hadith, welcome back. You finally get up from your sleep. Abdullah. Yes, Mr. Good morning. You just you just finished session for you today after one month of studying or more than one month. What happened to you? Uh, I was uh, most of all, uh, busy. You were busy? I know, Mr. I was doing. I was watching must, the videos on YouTube. You must call me after the session. You must call me because I, have, I, want to, I want to send you the link of my channel on YouTube to visit all the sessions what you missed. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, let's come back. Vertebral column. The notochord is replaced by vertebral column. So, in the echinoderms, there was a notochord. Do you remember that? This one. Yes. This one is a notochord. You remember that? This, yes. this line. Okay. This B is a notochord. Here it is replaced exactly by what? By what it is replaced? Aha. Uh -huh. By a vertebral column. Vertebral column. Very important, dear students. Very important. Really. That protects and surrounds the dorsal nerve cord. So the dorsal nerve cord is, is inside it. So it is like a bones, you know, uh, protecting this nerval cord, dorsal cord, dorsal nerve cord inside it, or nerve cord that is inside it. Like what you have as a man, like what the birds have, okay? So this one is saved by it then it is also making a kind of protection and support for the body, for the, uh, for the body buildings. Yes or not? I think this yes. is there. Okay. It is made of cartilage. Cartilage is what? Aha. I can ask you what is meant by cartilage. In the exam, I can ask this question. Why not? So cartilage is what? Flexible. Aha. Uh -huh. Flexible. Tough material found in skeleton or bone flexible tough material found in skeleton or in bone okay i think it doesn't need any explanation it is looking clear the definition is really clear the vertebral column functions as a strong flexible rod that Muscles can pull against during swimming or running. Again, the vertebral column functions as a strong, flexible. It is flexible. It is, you know, it can be moving right and left easy. That muscles can pull against during swimming or running. So this is supporting the fish to run in the water, supporting you as a mammal, as vertebrate, to run, to go, to jump, to rotate, to swim, to 
uh, make some exercises, physical exercises, do whatever you want. Okay? Great. Okay, now let's continue. Neural crest. As I told you, crest means the top of the nerve. Okay? The neural crest is a group of cells that develop from the nerve cord in vertebrae. So, neural crest, neural, uh, neural crest, who can tell me what does mean neural crest now? I don't want this what I write myself. I want something from you to tell me what did you understand now about it? Ha, who can tell me? You're still sleepy, all of you. What happened? No, I'm thinking about the answer only. Yeah, okay. So I said that neural crest is a group of cells. Remember this, it is a group of cells that develop. So there is a kind of development happening from the nerve cord in vertebrae. So it is looking like a node, okay? So it is um, like uh, um, inflating on the volume, okay? So it was just cord, slim, long cord of collection of nerves, okay, dorsal nerves or nerve cords. Then at the top of it, then it is made, it made like a ball. So I'll draw it for you here, so maybe looking clear. So if this one is the Who is that? Harbi, okay, so we'll come back. So if it is, the, this one is the, the, the the nerval cord, so it started to make something like this. This is called neural crest. You got the idea now? Yes. You understand? So this is the nerve, as you know, this one is the, uh, uh, the nerval cord or the nerve cord and the vertebrates, okay? Then something like, it's looking like a bulb, it's like that bead in here, okay? but it's made of nerves. This is called neural crest. What you will know later that it is in humans it, or in, in, in vertebrates, it is called brain. You got the idea now? Mm, yes. Great. Okay. So, proteins of the brain and skull. Uh, portion, portions of the brain and skull. So, as I told you, neural crest, it is like a portion of brain and skull. Certain sense organs and some nerve fibers are some of the structures that developed that develop from the neural crest. Look at it here. It's looking clear really. It is really looking clear. I don't want you to come deep in these details on what I want from you just to if you misunderstand any point here just come to see it. It's looking really clear. Understand? So, this, you see the neural crest here? You see it now? It's looking clear. Right? Yes. It's looking clear, honestly. Okay. Jaws. Jaws? Yes. Anterior gel, anterior gel arcs involved into jaws in ancient fish, in the old kind of fish. The development of jaws allowed ancient fish to be on a larger range of animals. To breed or to prey on a larger range of animals. It is looking clearly. Okay. Bird fins. What about the fins? We want to know this um, fish, how it can run in the water easily. And you, as a human, by your development, by the technology, what we have, we couldn't do like this kind of fish. One fish can skip from us in just in time to second. And you are doing your best to do like them, and you can never ever do like them. What happened? Let's come to know. A fin or a bottle. Fin or bottles, both. Fin means bottle. Okay? So a fin is a bottle shaped structure on a fish or other aquatic animals that is used for balance, steering, and barbulsion. You know what does mean barbulsion? 
to make, you know, no. arcubate, to make arcubate in the water. Uh, buried fins reduce the chance of rolling to the inside, to the, the, the side and allow for better steering during swimming. Better steering, so it can, you know, play in the water easily. You can see, I think if you are going to uh, the aquatic clubs, you can see, for example, uh, uh, the instructor of dolphins, he's playing with the dolphins. The dolphins are making so amazing acrobats in the water, okay? Don't tell me that it's because it studied that. No, it is because it has kind of fins, different types of fins that allow and make it facilitate the movement in the water. So it is easy to, um, it's very easy to have a good balance, to steer in the water, to bombage. You understand? Yeah. So now I'm just showing you some of these types. Okay. This is called caudal fin or the tail fin. This is dorsal fins. Then this is pelvic Fins, you know that mean pelvic fins, pelvic. The pelvic what you have is the middle bones of your body. You understand? It is in the middle of your body because there is pelvic cavity, there is abdominal cavity, there is chest cavity. You understand? Then pectoral fins. This two, this one on the other side. There is one more, and there is the anal fin. Well, that is close to the anal of this animal. Great. I think I have to finish with page uh, eight. Then we will stop with it and continue, inshallah, next session. But we have to concentrate well about page eight. The scales. Scales are small, flat, plate-like structures near the surface of the skin. Oh my God. What we, when you are taking fish and you want to eat it, first you have to prepare the fish. If you are asking the housewife or your mom, or you are, for example, you are interested to do that. First of all, you are taking a special tool, special tool or something like this to remove these scales, to remove it, you understand? From the skin of the fish, because you want to eat what's below. Yes or not? Yes. So, we are just come to read this with me to, 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 to understand what we are speaking about. Tenoid scales, right? One of them, it is called tenoid stain scales. This is made of bone and skin. Made of what? Bone and skin. Then, cycloid scales. This is made of also bones and scales and skin. I can ask you in the exam. Give me an example of scales that is made of bones of bone and skin and skin in the fish you have to tell me what tenoid and cycloid you got the idea i hope you got the idea all of you muhammad rafa will come back sir. sorry i had uh, some troubles with the internet message but i couldn't tell you because i wasn't exactly inside the session already yes so i, I finally fixed it that's Sorry it. for being great. I think you may do it like 15 minutes before the session, not to miss, because we really finished with big part exactly of this session. And there was a question in the previous session. I finished with it today. Okay. Uh, then, blicoid scales. This is made of tooth like materials. Made of what tooth like materials? Um, Genoid scales, this is made of enamel and bones. Uh, these four kinds are really important because I'm planning to give you, to ask you in the exam. So I have to, anything I made it by uh, red color, consider it seriously, okay? So again, the types of scales, most of fish, Tenoid scales, cycloid scales, blicoid scales, and genoid scales. Tenoid scales, they are made of bones and scales and skin. Cycloid skins, they are made of bones and skin as well. Blicoid scales, they are made of tooth-like materials. Genoid scales, they are made of made of enamel 
and bones. One of you can ask me, what does mean enamel? Do you have any, uh, any idea about enamel? Dear student? Yes, Mr. Y, I know. Uh, what does mean, Muhammad? Uh, it's uh, the, mo uh, the most outer layer of the uh, teeth. It's a protective. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, enamel, it is uh, something between the gum and the teeth. Is material between gum and the teeth. You got the idea now? Yes. Great. Um, I think this is, would be enough for you today, in my opinion. I, ca I, I can continue with you, but really the rest will be for tomorrow. Yeah, we still have till page 15. So this is, would be enough for you today. What do you think? Do you agree? Thank you, Mr. Okay. I'll just fast revision because of your friend who came late, fast revision. What are the features of vertebrates that make them different from invertebrates? So this means we have to know the different characters between vertebrates and invertebrates that you know distinguish this animal that it is vertebrate, it is not very invertebrate, okay? What are the characteristics of the most that fish have in common? Very important, we started with it today. How are the characteristics of uh, fish adapted to aquatic life and we had a new word today I think not accord we studied it from the last uh, lesson it was easy for you all and I show it to you here where is it yes this is exactly you see we have this one this one is the noto cord as I told you okay uh, by the way Mohammed we answered question 21 you may check about my session you will find it here because I'm recording it and I'll send it to you on my channel. I'll send it to my channel. So I think all of you now you have my channel, the link of my channel. So you may visit it and check whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Then we, okay. Then we understand exactly the meaning of neural crest. And then I, I think you have to know what does mean crest and trough. Exactly trough and crest, what you studied in physics and the waves. Okay. Then fin, what we finish now. Scale, what we finish now. Then the rest will continue with it, inshallah, next session, okay? Then we move directly to the, uh, the characteristics of vertebrates. We see that animal belonging to uh, subphylum vertebrates have a vertebral column and specialized cell that develop from the nerve cord. Classes of vertebrates include these five classes are very important. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Okay, because all of them will start it during this year and next year, inshallah, and even grade 12. Okay, notochord is replaced by the vertebral column that protects and surround the dorsal nerve cord. Uh, made of cartilage. Made of cartilage. And we ask what does mean cartilage? Your friend Tamim, he thought it is a flexible soft material found in skeleton. It was an amazing answer from him. Uh, the vertebral column functions as a strong. It is as much as it is strong, but it is also flexible rod that muscles can pull against during uh, swimming or running or whatever. Okay. Then neural crest. We said that neural crest is a group of cells that develop from the nerve cord in vertebrates. Portions of brain and skull. It is the entrance of brain and skull. Certain sense organs and some nerve fibers are some of the structures that develop from the nerval crest. Joe? So I saw. Yes. Sorry, I have to go. You have to go? Yes. You have to wait for two minutes, then go whatever you want. Because I'm uh, gonna be but now, so, uh... take your time. Thank you. You're welcome. Jaws, anterior gill, gill arc, arches uh, 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 involved into jaws in ancient fish. The development of jaws allow ancient fish to prey to prey on a large range of animals. Then we finished. No, we still have one more page. A uh, pair of fins, we discussed exactly the types of fins and the function of it. We said that the function of it is, it is used for balance, steering, and 
for Belgium and pro Belgium. Uh, Baird fans reduce the chance of ruling to the side and allow for better steering during swimming. That's great. Then we finish with this page. Scales. Scales are small flat plate light structures near the surface of the skin. We divide it into four types uh, uh, tenoids, tenoid scales, um, and then uh, cycloid skins, black, black eyed scales, and genoid scales. And I think we know that the first two types made of bones and skin. The third one, black, black, black eyed uh, scale, made of tooth like material. The last one, genoid, made of enamel, enamel and bones. I, I think we know what does mean in enamel now. Is it clear for you all? Yes. Okay, thank you. Then we'll continue a lot tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye.